Welcome everyone. My name is Frank Overton. I'm the founder and CEO of Fast Cat Coaching. I developed most of the tech that you see here in the Coach Cat app. I am going to give you a quick <clears throat> walkthrough. By the way, welcome to your free trial. We are looking forward to helping you ride faster. To start off, what you see right here, you see your streak, you see your level. Levels are like your training load. The more you ride, the faster you get. Here is your training calendar. It turns green when you follow your plan and it doesn't when you don't. We say, make it turn green. And then we keep track of your streaks, the amount of days that you've followed your plan in a row. Over here, we see your workout. And this is just a simple visual representation zone base. So all the colors of your power, whether it's a workout or power output are color coded from blue in zone two up to red in zones five, six, and seven. You can send your workout to Zwift or Wahoo. Here is what a workout looks like. This was a big ride that I did yesterday. What you see here at the top is all the analysis and the stats, 114 OTS. You see the mileage, 81.5. This is the instant data analysis. This is what I have spent 20 years giving athletes feedback on, and now we are giving it to you instantaneously the moment you finish your ride. You'll be able to get custom analysis here. You can see I've set a few PRs on this latest ride. It was my highest OTS of the year, and you will notice my level jump from 52 to 60. That was a big day for me. Scroll down here, and then what you're looking at is the power output for my ride. There's power. You can also look at it in heart rate. The color is color coded. So you can see I rode really hard in the beginning. Notice all that red above 278. That's my FTP. My peak 20 minute power was 274 watts. What you see here is a color coded GPS trace and a color coded power-based elevation profile. See how I'm going hard up all the climbs. When you go downhill, you're not riding that hard. So it's back into zones one and two. This is your time and zone. And so that's your post-workout screen. Let's go over your profile first and then I'll show you your morning recovery real quick. This is profile, connected devices. I have my Apple Watch, Wahoo connected. I have a, a Hammerhead connected and also my Zwift account connected. You can connect any of these devices and we will push workouts to that device, pull down the workout data generated by that device, including Zwift and Ruby and so forth. Over here is your training zones. So my FTP is 278 watts. My sweet spot is 234 to 269. You can change this if you want to tap that. If you don't know it, don't worry. We'll tell you how to determine your FTP from your training plan. You can do just about everything you want. Partners discounts real quick. We give you a free Whoop band and a free month. There's a 20% discount on Castelli, 15% off Hunt Wheels, 15% off at Never Second, and we'll give you a Glow membership for two months so you can follow the yoga videos we recommend on Mondays and Fridays. Let me show you my morning recovery score. This is very important. You're going to get a recovery score every morning. This is your opportunity to fine tune your workout for today. In this case, I was in the red because this was Sunday. I did a big ride. You saw that 314 OTS on Saturday. Naturally, I'm in the red. This is my sleep data. You can click through and look at your weekly sleep. You can tap that HRV and look at your HRV on a week, month, and six month basis. You can tap your level and see what level you're at. This is like the old performance manager chart, your CTL, your training load. A lot of science in here, so pay attention to your level as you're going forward. I'm actually doing really right now, 61. Let me show you our training library. This is where all the training plans, workouts, meal plans, and the recipes live. You can apply them one by one. This is our custom plan builder. You can tell it how much time you have to train each week, upcoming event, and you can choose road gravel, mountain. Presumably you've already done this because you went through that in the onboarding. If you get through with your one, I want to move on to the second one. This is how you do it. Let me show you how to move and delete a workout. Look at my training for next week. Tuesday, May 6th, I've got a group ride and my crisscross intervals. 
I am not going to do those because I'm going to do my group rides. I'm going to tap, crisscross, hit the delete workout in the upper right. Delete workout, and it's gone. Now, on Wednesday, May 7th, I want to move that workout. So hit the three dots in the upper right. Hit edit. Hit these up down arrows. Hold your thumb on it. Drag and drop. Hit check mark to confirm that you've moved it where you want. It's easier on the desktop version, but you can do it on mobile as well. So that is a quick tour of the mobile app. This is your training tab, your optimized recovery tab, your coach cat chats, your library with all your workouts, meal plans, recipes, and your profile. Good luck with your training. We are here to help you and Remember to work hard, ride fast, have fun, and always try to FTFP.